hello. Okay, do not mind of my face is sweating because I just did a couple of um, lessons for the secondary group. But then now we go for your group. Right, as we have uh, been teaching you badminton. Right, for hands, back hands. Now, how are you going to do the smash? Well, the smash is kind of hard to do, but with the proper tennis, well, with the correct tennis, you will get there. You will be able to do it. Okay. So as for today, I need this and the racket. Okay. Why I don't need shot? Why I don't use shot court? Because um, we are we are learning. Okay, we are learning about uh, how to do the smash. Well, the shutter cards are quite heavy, which is when you toss it, you're gonna drop very fast. So you won't be have enough time to make it in time to hit the ball. Okay, but before that, just do it without the plastic bag first, and make sure you do all the drills, you do all the warming up, all the drills that I already taught you, and. Remember to do the forehands, backhands, and you move to the side, to do this, to the side left, to do this, to the back right, to do this, and then to the back left, to do backhands. Okay. So now, smash. Okay. You you always see that person who do smash will jump and do the smash, but it's very hard to happen to me. Um. Most of the most of the good athletes they will do that. They will jump and try to hit the ball when the ball was on air. So when the ball was like this, okay, before the ball dropped like this, before the shuttle cord dropped like this, you have to hit it first. So then only you can make the ball in contact with the racket and go sharp to down. So that's the smash meant to be. So, if the shutter spot go up and it's already going down like this when you try to hit the shutter spot, it will, it will end up at the net. So that's why people try to hit the ball uh, to do the smash when the ball are really high on air. So that's, that's, you will watch in most of the badminton games. So, when you hit the ball, okay, this is the position, you bring your hands behind. Shoulder attachment, okay, and you can't do smash like this. Okay, we need a full range like this, and you lift your hands up high and smash it. So when you do the smash, you have to follow through. This is up here. Follow through. This is me. Follow through. You cannot just smash that. No. Okay. Because why? We want to. We want to reduce the risk of injury of your shoulder. If you just put it halfway, you actually do not release the full strength of your shoulder and it's, it's kind of like a pause, a shock there. So don't do that. So re remember, try to do follow through when you do the smash. So stand your position, stand. something like this. Um, not something like this. It's like that. Like how to do the smash. Why you see this on why I jerk my knee a bit high and okay, my heel a bit high because I want to get the the distance, the height of the shutter cord. So that's the that's the um, the techniques of doing the smash, right? And how we're going to practice with the process. Seems like the wind blew on my plastic. Alright. Try this one. Cut the air. 
I'm trying to improvise everything wherever you have because if you do this uh, yes the will go up but by the time you smash it you're gonna be flat uh, let's just try it the sounds of the smash so if you have a balloon it's much better okay but I remember from I can't remember which class uh, I wanted to do a balloon challenge but they say they don't have a balloon at their house so um, I'm trying to think out of box so I come up with a plastic bag and try to release the the plastic bag as high as you can and jump it. Okay. You also can use plastic bag for your skills. 